So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you how you can create your own static hosted website on GitHub pages pretty quickly under five minutes. So let's get started. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. It really helps. Now I'm going to make use of something known as create react app, which is quickly going to bootstrap a react project for me. And I'm going to say this is my demo app and hit enter this would start a demo app once that is done cd into your folder and start your code editor whatever you prefer i prefer vs code right here you can go ahead and make some changes to your website so that it it seems personalized so i could just say my first you know github project anything you want hit save and you're good to go Right. You could test out this by saying yarn start, which would start a local development server for you to see and develop your website. So you see, here's the output of what we have created so far, right? So I'm going to close this and I'm going to add something known as GH pages, which would allow us to publish our build of the source code in a GitHub GH pages branch, which would keep our source code clean from our build files. Once that is done, go ahead in your source code into package.json file and right here, write a couple of scripts more. The first one being pre-deploy. What you want is yarn run build. And then finally on deploy, what you want to do is GH pages should deploy the build folder. Hit save and you need to add a home page here as well which would be your username. In my case, it's meholempity.github.io slash the repository name, which we are going to give this. In my case, this would be demo app only. So I'm going to hit save and that's it. The final step is go ahead and create a new repository with the same name, which you have given right here. You can see it's demos dash app. So I'm going to go ahead and say demo dash app. And this would be our hosted React app, something like that. Make sure this is public, create repository. It's going to give you two links now, either HTTPS or SSH. If you are new and have not configured SSH, just go ahead and copy this link. Otherwise, copy the SSH link. I would recommend if you don't know what SSH link is, go ahead and copy HTTPS link. Right. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and use SSH link because that is configured for me. And I'm going to say in the same directory, git remote add origin and paste the link. In your case, it might be HTTPS link and hit enter. Once you do that, what you have to do is just run yarn run deploy and hit enter. All right. Once that is done, you're going to get this nice little published message and you are free to go ahead and go to this URL. I'm just going to copy this because it opened in another window and make sure you remove that comma right there and you can see right there on your github subdomain you have your static website hosted for free right now you could extend this even more by using things like firebase which is virtually going to provide you a backend as well and you have a full featured website without any spending any dollar so that's pretty cool well that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe press the bell icon. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.